Hello everyone, I hope you've had a great day so far and that you're doing well. For this video we'll be going through a unboxing of the Creator 3-in-1 set 3112. And as you can see from the corner logo, this is from LEGO. Now, the one thing I dislike about LEGO sometimes is that they don't, unlike Gunpla, don't always have names of their sets. So, I don't know what I would call this. I mean, it's a lion and an ostrich and a... It's like a savannah set, I guess. Maybe? Anyway, feel free to put your uh, alternative labelling in the comments below. Um, before I get too invested, because I will forget, and I don't want to, not for this one, um, I'm going to give a shout out to Marco Di Bon, and I will link both his YouTube and Instagram accounts in the description below because the reason why I picked this up is not because I have an affinity for savannah animals um, but he's actually made his own um, mech set based on this creator set which I to be honest quite enjoyed the look of um, and I do have a soft spot for mech Lego sets. Big surprise. So I thought I would actually get one because I will try and actually recreate his uh, quote-unquote primitive mech. Um, so thank you Marco for being the inspiration for this particular acquisition and hopefully I can do what you have created some degree of justice. However, that being said, um, we'll still go through the unboxing of the traditional creator set for those who are actually inclined to buy it for its actual intended... Actually, I take that back. It's Lego. There is no necessary set intentions. So for those who want to create one of the three options in there, or buy three and create them all, We'll still have a quick look through that. Um, otherwise, when the review for this eventuates, uh, it will be based on um, Marco's work, not the original creator set. Anyway, with that preamble being said, here is the front of the box. Um, so it is a three in one. So you do need to pick which one to build, or if they all strike your fancy, buy three. So we have a, I assume, a lion, ostrich, I assume, and I'm going to say a wild boar, maybe? I don't know, my, um, yeah, not great on my descriptions. Uh, top of the box, just some different angles of what you can build. Side. The boring side. Another boring side. And a look at the back. So, um, don't mind. Okay, oh no, you can. There's some unfortunate large scratching on the back. So, just some more. Uh, various images of the set in various poses. I will admit, good thing about Lego, because of some of these joints, that these sets actually have articulation, uh, which is very nice. So, I will crack open this box and we'll have a quick look through what I suspect should be three instructional booklets and probably three bags of blocks is my guess. Um, stick around and find out. 
And with that now out of the way, so there are actually four bags of bricks. Uh, there were the three instruction booklets of different sizes. So we have a um, booklet for the line, um, the booklet for, actually I'm going to say Warthog now, and the thinner booklet for the ostrich. So I'll put two of them away for the time being. And the bad thing about some of these booklets is, depending how lucky you are, it will depend on how many folds and curves there are in the booklet. Um, so in terms of the line, so this is probably the thickest of the three, so most likely the preferred build. So you've got the lion, a bit of a carcass, and a bird of some description. I'm not a biology major, um, so yes, but I am suddenly getting a weird feeling to watch Lion King. So in terms of the actual construction now, it doesn't really uh, go into bag one, bag two, bag three. In fact, I didn't actually see any numbering on the bags, so it is pretty much a giant free-for-all, which will be interesting, um, but that's okay. So what I will do is I will skip to the very back, um, there's the actual Parts list, I suspect parts list specific to the line. Uh, different creator sets, so yes, there was a bit of a savannah theme here with this particular set. Um, some other creator sets. This particular set here is on my maybe list. I like it because obviously it's a mech design, but at the same time, it's not fully sold to me. Um, but we'll see. I should probably pick one up, at least one up, because Lego being Lego, it will discontinue in time. Um, complete it, line set. So it's actually not too bad looking. So that's line. If you were to do a line, um, we have a look at the Warthog. Which is surprisingly enough, there was. Oh, it's just. Um... Oh, it's another creator set. My goodness, you've got creator sets advertising for itself. Um, actually, that does look kind of cool if I was into that. Um, yes, I did skip all the way to the back. So there's the completed warthog, but um, I'm just looking at some of these steps. It's pretty much a case of. If you were building one of these three, it would be a case of open the bags and knock yourself out, um, which would be great because, well, take that back, it wouldn't be as great because Lego can be noisy, so as we'll see in a bit, when there's uh, four bags of bricks, I can only imagine the uh, level of noise that will be made. As for the last creator, so we have the ostrich, is there anything on the back? Okay, so we just, we've already seen those ones. Yes, this is the thinnest one, so it's a bit of a, a bit more of a flimsy booklet. So that's the finished product. I mean, some of these do actually look like they'd be very fun builds. Um, However, not to my preference. I do have to try and go through and um, build the three-in-one dinosaur set, though. That is one I actually did buy three of. Um, so yes, that's um, yeah, pretty much the ostrich. So yes, I haven't really gone through um, each of these booklets um, because well, there's three of them, and. Um, I am somewhat biased that I won't be building all of them. So in terms of the bags of bricks, what I'll do is I should be able to put them all into view. So we do have some English ones. Are they all here? Okay, they're all here. So 
four bags of assorted bricks. Um, obviously, the bigger bag having some of the larger pieces, your mid size, your smaller pieces, and some even more smaller pieces. Um, so, actually, looking at them to open up all four bags and have them as a collective mess won't be too bad. So, um, it is partly unfortunate that I'm not building uh, any of the predefined um, options, but that's fine. I think I have seen, if you actually pop onto Google, I do believe there has been um, some different um, variations of this particular set. So looking at this bag, so yep, these are your, you know, some of your 2x4 bricks um, and some of your single larger row pieces, which is pretty cool. Um, predominantly yellow and burgundy. Over here, so it's a bit of a mixed colour, still the yellow colour or golden yellow. Uh, but you've got some white, some grey, some beige, a bit of green, some brown, burgundy again, that's pretty good. Cool. And these small pieces, uh, so we've got some pinks in here, some translucent blue, clear blue, sky blue, a blue, um, some more reds. Pretty cool. And lastly, um, smaller bag. Um, once again, some of your yellows, some greys, a few blacks, whites, and reds. And at least one red. So that's actually not too bad a set. Let's actually see if I can kind of do this. Okay. I can kind of do that. So this was the 3 one Creator set, um, which is somewhat funny because not a single one of these three will be put together, um, but instead I will be doing the primitive mech that Marco has done. And as I said, I will uh, have a link to both his Instagram and his um, YouTube, and in fact, I might even just um, try and throw in the link directly to his actual video for his primitive mech build, um, if I can, somewhere. Hopefully, within the video itself. Otherwise, it will be at least in the uh, description. If anyone else is actually curious about it as well, um, it's from what I've seen, it's a bit of a follow along of uh, him doing it on the screen probably need to watch it once or twice because I think he has um, pre-built some pieces I think at least some pieces did look a bit pre-built otherwise it's still a relatively um, base build so it probably wouldn't hurt to maybe even pre-sort the pieces beforehand um, but yes I'm looking forward to that hoping it doesn't take too long um, and we'll see how it goes. Thank you for watching this unboxing video where we're not building the actual contents as intended, but that's okay. It's Lego. Creativ creativity is freedom. We'll leave it at that. Feel free to like, comment, and sub sub subscribe if you enjoy this content. Um, hit the notification bell as well uh, if you do end up subscribing that way you can stay up to date for upcoming content uh, feel free to follow my Instagram account for my work in progress posts link to that will be in the description as well thank you again for your support to help grow this channel to both new and continuing visitors it is very much appreciated stay safe and take care and I will catch you all in the next video. See ya.